Last night, we began to process the crime scene at Terminal 2. Uh, that process has concluded, and at approximately 7.30 this morning, we returned the terminal back to the local airport uh, authorities. We have positively identified the five deceased victims, and we are in the process of notifying their family members and loved ones. We have concluded the interview of the suspect. The suspect remains in custody and is currently held at the Broward County Jail on federal charges. We are working very, very closely with the U.S. Attorney's Office, and this afternoon the United States Attorney's Office will issue a press release in regards to the charges that the suspect will be facing. We've conducted roughly 175 witness interviews. We've recovered video, uh, physical evidence, uh, and we continue to pursue every investigative lead. We have not ruled out anything. We continue to look at all uh, avenues and all motives for this horrific attack. And at this point, we are continuing to look at the terrorism angle in regards to the potential uh, motivation behind uh, this attack. I want to provide a status update and a point of clarification. Uh, we have six gunshot wound victims at the hospital. Uh, originally yesterday we released that there were eight gunshot victims. There were actually only six. Um, three of them remain in uh, good condition. Three of the victims remain in ICU as of uh, this press conference. We will not be releasing the identity of any of the six. From a uh, point of clarification, uh, I've been asked repeatedly, why was the airport closed yesterday? Uh, when we ori originally arrived and uh, had the crime scene in the downstairs portion by baggage of Terminal 2, there weren't any plans to close the airport. However, when we received information that there was a possible active shooter and shots had possibly been fired, Although the last thing we wanted to do was impede the progress and, tra and travel plans of our residents and citizens uh, in the hierarchy uh, of responsibility, preserving the crime scene came second, and most importantly, keeping Broward County and its citizens safe came first. So I made the appropriate decision to close the airport until I was sure that people at the airport and in and about the airport were safe.